Hi YouTube family, Paul here. Uh, today I got a 02 uh, E320 Mercedes a W210 chassis platform. Uh, online, I was looking about the spec on uh, adjusting the front wheel bearings, the end play on them. I couldn't find any information with the specs. I actually have the Mercedes program, but it takes me a half an hour to reload it to get it to work. I did so yesterday and I got the uh, specs on the end play. Nobody on YouTube has the correct video for this. One guy does a half of a thousandth, that's too tight. The end play is not a half of a thousandth. The front wheel bearing end play is 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 millimeters. Converted to thousandths of an inch, that's 0 0.393 to 0.787 thousandths. So I would go three quarter, three quarters of a thousandth for the uh, proper end play on there. You're better to have a little loose than not loose enough for lubrication to take place. When you have hard contact, your bearings are going to wear out real premature. So uh, right now I pulled this wheel off and I used a screwdriver and slacked up my uh, brake caliper. Hope you can see this. I'll tell you what I'm reading on the gauge. I put the uh, dial indicator right where the mounting screw is that holds the caliper on, so I won't get that much play. I zeroed it out. Pulling, I get about four thousandths of an inch on there. Four thousandths of an inch of play. I probably got a total of about five thousandths of an inch of play in there. I'm going to use a chisel now, get the uh, grease cap off, and then recheck it on the uh, spindle itself. Okay? Let me just pop that off with a chisel. You can pick up one of these dial indicators for a reasonable price on eBay, uh, Amazon. They're not that expensive. Good tool to have around. Let me try getting a different tool. I'll let you know when I figure this out. I'm not going to waste your time watching me fiddle around with a grease cap. All right, with the smaller chisel, I'm getting it. Putting it in the groove, tapping around. I'm sure I don't want to destroy this. I don't have replacement caps. Now, that should have grease in it, too. Whoever did this didn't grease this up very much. You're going to need a set of uh, metric allens around. Let me go get my toolbox. This was uh, precautions. I use the jack, and I do have a jack stand up under the car. Always use a jack stand. Never trust the jack. Safety first. I just want to reiterate on the end play. The end play was 0.01 to 0.02 millimeter. That's 0.393 thousandths to 0.787 thousandths. So I want at least a minimum of a half a thousandth on here when I adjust this. As you can see right now, I'm going to zero this out. That's what it pushed in. I'm on zero. I'm hoping you can see that. I can't tell where my camera angle is. Let me make sure I'm even recording. Yes, I am. All right. We're going five thousandths almost. We're getting five thousandths and play actually over that. That's too much. So I got a five millimeter Allen on here. Loosen this up. Zero this out again. It 
It's about two thousandths. That looks good to me right there. I got a, just a little bit under a thousandth of an inch. I'd rather have a little bit of play than not enough in there. I'm uh, readjusting them. Yeah, I'm not even. They're packed, all right. I'm going to throw some more grease oh, in the you cap. You got your uh, dial indicator, huh? Yep. Are they okay? Rotors are no, all they, right? Yeah, the rotors are good. Yeah. Bearings were loose as shit, though. So what do you do? You check the run out on the The end motor? play, yeah. The end play at a movement. This is 0.393 to 0.7. 0.7 Damn, like three. Had one when I'm, I'm giving it a, just right, about a thousandth of an inch, you know? All right, go to you next. You're actually better off a little on the looser side than yeah, too yeah. tight. It's too tight, you burn them out. Yep. No good. I just do mine by lighting them with a pair of channel locks and back them off just a little so I yeah, can get crack the, the spacer with the cotter pin that goes yep. through the slots. Yep. That's all. I just do them all. Yeah, if you tighten them too much, you don't leave any room for the grease because no. the metal's not supposed to actually it's supposed to have a cushion of grease in there. Yeah. I looked for you yesterday. You were gone. Yeah, I Is had, this blinking? Uh, I went and painted uh, that blinking. Yeah. All right. Hey, that was my neighbor stopping by to say hello. All right, we're just a little bit under a thousandths on here on the end play. That looks like a uh, good adjustment to me. I have new bearings that I'm going to do on this eventually. That's for another video. I just wanted to do the adjustment first and have the bearings on hand if I hear any kind of bearing noise or whatever. Uh, I'm going to throw some grease in the uh, cap. I have red high temperature grease that I'm going to put in here. It's not green. It's not Mercedes grease, but it is high temperature bearing grease. So that's it for that wheel. Let me get the grease and put that cap back on. Putting the cap back on. Put some grease in there with it. and tight and throw this back together I'm gonna to torque my wheel studs down to 85 foot-pounds and then pull the other wheel if you do work on your Mercedes I suggest you definitely have this Benz wheel stud alignment guide tool it goes into where the uh, wheel studs go wheel bolts and you can just hang the wheel with that makes it much easier getting the wheel on and off and uh, they're not expensive the part number is MBZ 2015 that's MBZ 2015 you can find that on eBay and uh, Amazon all right AliExpress may have it too all right guys aluminum uh, anti-seize on the face on the uh, mating surface of my rotor so my wheel doesn't get corroded on there with the different metals they oxidize and sometimes bond just makes it a lot easier to get stuff on and off good idea to hit it with a little bit of never seize just don't overdo it where it's gonna get hot and go on your brake caliper or rotor all right bye okay now I got the freight right front undone Zeroed it out. We got more than five thousands playing here. That's way too much. Five millimeter.
just under a thousandth. And that's good for that. I'm gonna tighten that back up, recheck it. Looks good to me. Quick job, something you can do. If you've had wheel bearings replaced, I would check them after a while and retorque them. All right, I hope this was a useful video to some of you guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please support our channel, give a like and subscribe, and uh, hopefully I can bring you some more videos that'll bring you some useful information, guys. Remember, take good care of your cars, they'll take good care of you. Bye-bye. Where's Coco? Let's say goodbye to Coco and Honey. Where are they? Where are they? There goes Honey. Hey, Honey. Honey, you're getting old. She's my helper. That's my helper. She's my partner. The other one's looking for air conditioning. No, there she is. Bye, Coco. Bye, Wendy. <laughs> Bye. Have a good day, guys.